poison. We also tried a poison. Uh, we expected that the poison would do the opposite. Um, so what poison would you try? And uh, uh, we tried glyphosate. Uh, now you know about glyphosate, but your listeners, now, this is the stuff in Roundup. Uh, I don't know what it's called in Australia. It might it's have been called Roundup. Yeah. Roundup. Yeah. And so, so you know, the, the plants that you're growing are modified, so they're not sensitive to Roundup. You spray the Roundup, it kills the weeds all around the plant. And since your plant, your corn or whatever you're growing, is no longer sensitive to this weed killer, uh, it grows just fine, but the weeds get killed. Um, and and then you eat this food, but you're eating not only the food, but you're eating the Roundup or the life is it the main uh, substance. Um, and since you've had Stephanie Seneff uh, 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 being interviewed, she's probably world's expert on that uh, subject. So we tried it and at the at every concentration we tried um, from high concentrations down to the lowest conceivable concentration, always diminished easy water. And so at least for that particular poison, weed killer, poison, right? Uh, um, it, it, um, it's expected based on the results of our experience to diminish the amount of easy water in our body. And uh, if I might go on there and, you know, a conjecture is that other poisons might act in a similar way. I've been a little reluctant to test them because mostly these tests are done by young undergraduate students and they're not so experienced. And I, I, I feel a little reluctant to expose them to arsenic and to uh, um, some of the other uh, uh, common poisons. Um, so we haven't done those experiments yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if many of the poisons are poisons because of what they do to the water. And the water is central to everything the cell does 